Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Hearts of Iron 4 Millennium Dome for me, Humble Bionica and Singapore. So let's get right on with it, shall we? In the last episode we ended with uh, building up a naval yard through our national focus and now we're doing the second one, Control the Straits, which is going to give us another naval yard. We've also finished up the uh, modernization of our air force, we have two uh, air wings now with full, well, which are full of uh, modernized aircraft. Uh, actually, this one, what about you? You are an F-16C Fighting Falcon. I think that one is also modernized, but let me just check, because if it isn't, then we are in a bit of a hurt. Um, mm -hmm. Well, no, it's not the most modern one, but it's a modern one, the fourth generation, so that's okay. So our Air Force is modernized. We're finishing up the modernization of our Navy, which is building two more fearless class ships so that we can phase out the victories. And then we're going to start expanding by building a couple of Singapore class attack submarines. Uh, the modernization of the APCs is also working well, and we're modernizing our infantry equipment. So as far as our army goes, we are getting to a height of power right now. I think we started somewhere around 120 and 180 uh, soft and hard attack number at 307 and 348, which is great. Once that is done, we'll actually uh, look at what we can do with the Marines and our Assault Commandos. I actually think that we might create a fully operational uh, brigades uh, that we will use to complement our land forces, but we'll see. We'll see. At this point, uh, we will be focusing a bit more on uh, getting Atsak and Papua New Guinea influence because I'm interested in seeing whether or not we can sway them to trade agreements just by using uh, the influence. So we'll see. We shall see. I'm not sure, but I would like to think that it's gonna work. And actually, let me see how, are we, how we're doing with the artillery because we're still importing them. And I'm hoping that we have... Okay, so we're starting to get a decent amount of them in reserve. I don't know how many we're using. 108. Okay, so let's get... Uh, where are they? 253. This one will give us... 72 units. Okay, so I think that's enough. We'll have just one batch delivered. And then we're done. We're also almost completely uh, down in the interest rate again, 2.8%. Thailand attacks our independence. And we... Okay, we failed to influence both Asi and Papua New Guinea. That's not good. Hmm. Okay, well, I think that what we can do here is uh, do another round of investment into international waters so let's invest again in Bangladesh and we'd like to get okay we can but we can build civilian factories in these areas okay so we're getting a bit more from that and same thing can be done in Bhutan. Okay, building two factories. And we stick at 28 billion, so let's throw that one on Brunei. Two more factories in Brunei. Okay, so that's gonna greatly increase our week income to. Well, it's going to increase it either way. <laughs> International investment. Well, I mean, our debt has significantly increased as well. Uh, we were at something like 0 0.0 nothing, and now we're paying 0.2 billion every week. So it has to be, uh, you know, it's fairly even, but once we were paid, uh, we'll have a much higher net gain. Still confused. Uh, I could make aid. Okay, 
Let's try it again. They reject it again. Okay. What about Papua? They reject. Okay, both of them rejected, but it's, I mean, that's fine. Uh, they're probably doing a bit better than we thought. Okay, how much uh, C4 equipment do we have now? 200 to any new models. Okay, so that means we need to wait a bit more. The V Gardener a bit bigger. Uh, and I'm working on the transport helicopters. Anything else that we could import from the international markets? It's not like I'm hungry for more spending, but... Oh yeah, we needed the anti-air. Uh, a self-propelled one. Oh, I just hope this one is not going to be a huge mistake. Well, I have a feeling we might actually procure a license from the Americans. That way we will... Yeah, we got 1,000 of the Terexes, so time to start upgrading. Which means we could actually have a capacity to start producing domestic variants of uh, your anti-air. Okay. Just need to find it, APC. Okay, so this is the first generation. We need a better generation. First generation might tell me how. Okay, this is such second generation only. Anti air. M6 linebacker. Oh, they got a ton of them. Okay, this is another one. Okay, so let's compare this one to the other one because I think this one is a really, really poor one. Yeah, this one is a terrible one. So what about this one? And two. It's outdated, but defense is. 18 anti air is. What the hell is anti air? Heart attacks of the type provided, but it is. Oh, that's Arturi! Ah, my bad. Okay, this one is anti air. 8.7. And what are we using? Uh-uh-uh. is it? Do we have any. Let's talk about artillery. Okay, now we've influenced them. Armored. Wait, do we not have any? That doesn't make any sense. And whatever we have, this one will be better. So let's get it from the Americans straight from their laboratories. We might even you know, improve it if we can. So this is the one backer. And that there, and that there. Yeah, I think this one is the best choice. And they will provide it to us. Okay, now let's see what we can do with this baby, if anything. Nothing. Okay, we could give it additional ammo, which is a terrible idea because it reduces greatly their uh, their performance and reliability. Okay, so let's let's not do that. Instead, let's now look at Atech and see if the increase in influence had an effect. And nope, not yet. Okay. I guess we need a bit more.
Target the other's influence. Target Indonesia. Domestic. Uh, no, that's not worth it. That would lower our influence way more than, uh, you know, we would benefit from. Let's get a few. Should be above 400, yeah, 428,000. We're slowly increasing, and then with the new fuel refining tech, it's gonna be even better, but I'm looking forward to it nonetheless. How are we doing? On the workforce, 8.8%. Yeah, it's gonna drop a bit more when we get this last one, but it's fine. I'm grading, I'm grading. Can you? Yeah, we definitely can upgrade our weapons, which will make it so that you guys have more stuff. Cool, so this is naval manufacturer. Okay, so we just got yet another upgrade to our ships. Great. <laughs> Great. So this one is also outdated already. Uh, so this will be uh, second variant. And well, we'll have to do a couple of upgrades afterwards. So with this one done, I think we might want to get through uh, this military tree. So let's start by the. Well, actually, wait. The Actoral stagnation, max entrenchment, conservative Singapore. Anything that we could. The global investment. Foreign aid. Actually, this one is interesting. I have no idea what it's gonna do. Preparing foreign aid packages for the nations we have trade agreements with will only benefit our network of friends and allies. Uh, let's get this one off the table because I don't know what it's gonna be like and what it does. So we'll see. How many of those? Uh, that's still way too little. We need more of that. And we're basically not using any steel at this point. I'm just upgrading like crazy. You give additional, yeah, factor output of 5% and efficiency cap of 5%. So that's gonna help us greatly so that's good uh, once these upgrades are done we can start the construction of the anti-air this is the bionics Dark 85. The American University in Armenia has been renovated. Well, good for them. And we have auto advanced. That's again. Okay, 11%. But still only 10. Well, see, I mean, this, well, this was always a long term project. So. Small arms. Small arms. Soft attack and reliability or soft attack and reliability. Wait, what? This one gives 4% soft attack. This one gives 2. This one gives 5. And this one gives 4. What the? I think this is wrong. This one should give more reliability. Okay, otherwise there's no point in doing this one. Great. So now we have sin 4. Yay. 
I'm so happy. Another modification. Great. I mean, I should be happy about that, right? It's just... We keep upgrading and upgrading and upgrading. <laughs> Okay, 11 days for you to come around and 7.2% so, oh, in, in offices. You're everything. No, not offices though. Civilian factories, military and dockyards. Well, that should be a significant cut. And we have only three office blocks, so it should be much higher than 5% in effect, unless offices require... Wait, ah, here it is. Base number 630,000. Okay, so you need 25k, you need 25k, and you need 360k. Okay, so in essence, office needs twice as much as civilian industry. About... 20 times more than military, or actually 25 times more than military, and yeah, 25 times more. Okay, so now that makes sense why uh, these changes are not really helping us, but civilian ones should, you know, at least a bit. Okay, so one point two we'll see. Uh, air robotics, does it show? GDP output. Hmm. Okay, well, either way, we have gotten further and now we can get the humanoid robot. The basis of fear for many people is also the basis for great strides in AI-based robotics. The advent of several humanoid-like robots has shown that some work could be better automated that would normally be a routine and mundane task. Factory output, production efficiency growth, and production efficiency cap all increased by 5%. Civilian and military factories and dockyards required workforce is lowered by 5%. And office required workforce is lowered by 2.5%. That is huge. Yeah, okay, office is now at 13%. I'm not sure if this is changing our revenue as well. It would make sense because it keeps dropping the more factories we get. Okay, Iranian aggression has been condemned. Uh, they reject. They reject our advances. Oh well. We tried. More fuel, please. What about the production? Okay, so you are now upgrading 683 taxes are left. Yeah. Oh my god, you don't have the... What? We don't have the exclusive protection. Oh, come on. Uh, okay, well, another mistake of the past me. So let's keep upgrading seven per day. Not exactly amazing. Two have been successfully influenced. We only have still influence of 10 from this. Hmm. Let's move relations a bit and see if it changes. And they are not aligned. Yeah, 
Yeah, no, we're still missing. We'll have to keep chugging along. Hmm. How are we doing here? Are you upgrading the oldest ones first? Uh, no, I'm upgrading the Synexis. Okay. Oh, Myanmar, they got a war on Thailand. Nice. Finally, something is happening. Oh, this is going to be a bloody war. Look at that. They are very evenly matched. Interesting. Interesting. Looking forward to that. Okay, so now we can send... A f what was it? An aid package? Is that... Yeah, for an aid package to Indonesia. Oh my god! It's based on the economy. Oh, okay. In some instances, it's very cheap. But it's some... What was that? Germany? Was that 106 billion? 326 billion. Oh, Indonesia was 106. Oh, my God. 390. What about the United States? One trillion dollars. Wow. Okay. Well... That's fun. We could use... Wait. Is it possible to do it for all nations or do we have to... I'm thinking if Atsek is here somewhere. I think we have to have uh, a tree with them already. Yeah. Yeah, 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 we do. Okay, never mind. But this is a really... Or a good one. And I'm thinking we might want to nationalize Japanese assets. Office sector and bajillions of dollars would be good. But no, let's go with the with the military. We need to boost that slightly. Singaporean armor. One of the few areas that our armed forces is lacking technologically is armored warfare. We need to acquire and study modern foreign tank models and eventually develop our domestically made uh, main battle tanks to fit into service. So we get research bonus for all tanks. I approve of that. That is a very nice idea. Okay, fuel in four days. Okay, you're gonna be done soon. But I'm happy that we see more workers in the offices. 13%. And, you know, with the vastly different numbers now, at least I understand what's going on because it seemed really weird for me uh, that it's moving so slow. But yeah, if you need so many people, then that absolutely makes sense. So, we're going for 6,000. And I'm not doing anything in regards of genetic engineering because we can't even can't. Uh, some manufacturer. We got this one. Coating material, sub stuff. Oh wait, we don't need this one. Okay, production cost. That makes sense. Korea attacks or influence in Cambodia? Oh no. Okay, let's subsidize the business. And let's see. Any further influenced outside. Yeah, still no different. Maybe it's 10 per 10. So the next one is gonna work. Now we reject our. Advances. I can understand that. I can respect. Oh wait, what about the navy? Okay, we get two more. Oh, that's here. We can go over here. And we started working on the subs. Amazing. 
So that means at this point, the Victory class frigates will be relegated to command of Joseph Tay. And they are going to be, wait, what? Okay. Like, so. Yep. So the operators and fearless classes are under command of Admiral Ronnie Tay, and you are gonna be a reserve fleet or reserve navy. Reserve navy. Cool. So we can keep you guys in dock. I wish there was a way how to mothball the ships. Automatic reinforcements. Air merge. I don't think there's a mothball option. Though, I actually never thought of it, but I don't think there would be one. Okay, so our navy has reached another level of uh, modernization, which is great. We're between running and political power again. I think we might want to start influencing Malaysia. Execution of two African men. Okay, let me see what that is about. Two African men have been queued for execution for drug smuggling. International pleas for clemency were answered with silence. Singapore continued its policy of executing those who brought drugs into the city. It is yet another statement of the authoritarianism that is present in the city. Should we provide comments to the men? Okay, that increases relations. So let's provide comments and use it to sign trade agreements. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Nice. That is well worth it. Um, I'll be honest, I actually really like um, the fact that Singapore is so harsh on drugs. Because honestly, if you're so dumb that you bring drugs into a nation that, <laughs> that specifically said, don't do that thing, we are going to execute you, and you still do it, and in my opinion, there is really not much that can be said that would change my opinion about your uh, about your intelligence. Either way, I think I'm gonna end the episode here. Uh, we've done quite a lot. In the next one, we are gonna continue with our journey. Uh, six days to get the 1985. Chinooks, and then we can start working on the Super Pumas, which we are going to then construct eventually. I like that. I like that. And 36 days towards construction, which we will, I guess, not use much, but we can then probably look at some more electronics research, maybe. Well, they are starting to get cheaper, but advanced AI is super expensive. The biology stuff is also super expensive. Well, we could still try it. Either way, we'll decide then. Anyway, thank you very much, and I'll see you in the next episode.